I will cut off them that worship and swear by the Lord and that swear by Malcolm. Zephaniah 1, verse 5. Such persons thought themselves saved because they were with both parties. They went with the followers of Jehovah and bowed at the same time to Malcolm. But duplicity is abominable with God, and hypocrisy his soul hateth. The idolater who distinctly gives himself to his false god has one less sin than he who brings his polluted and detestable sacrifice under the temple of the Lord while his heart is with the world in the sins thereof. To hold with the hare and run with the hounds is a dastard's policy. In the common matters of daily life, a double-minded man is despised, but in religion he is loathsome to the last degree. The penalty pronounced in this verse before us is terrible, but is well deserved. For how should divine justice bear the sinner who knows the right, approves it, and professes to follow it, and all the while loves the evil and gives it dominion in his heart? My soul, search thyself this morning, and see whether thou art guilty of double dealing. Thou professest to be a follower of Jesus. Dost thou truly love him? Is thy heart right with God? Art thou of the family of Old Father Honest, or art thou a relative of Mr. Byand? A name to live is of little value if I be indeed dead in trespasses and sins. To have one foot on the land of truth and another on the sea of falsehood will involve a terrible fall and total ruin. Christ will be all or nothing. God fills the whole universe, and hence there is no room for another God. If then he reigns in my heart, there will be no space for another reigning power. Do I rest alone on Jesus crucified and live alone for him? Is it my desire to do so? Is my heart set upon so doing? If so, blessed be the mighty grace which has led me to salvation. And if not so, O Lord, pardon my sad offense and unite my heart to fear thy name. I will cut off them that worship and swear by the Lord and that swear by Malcolm. Zephaniah 1, verse 5.